Hi, I'm Thomas Smith from No Frills Influencer, and today I want to show you some of the amazing things that the new ChatGPT Vision can do. So I'm one of the first people to get access. This is a new version of ChatGPT that they're rolling out from OpenAI right now, where you can actually chat about and use images in your ChatGPT conversation. So I want to show you some things about how you can use that, you know, what does that actually do for you. Um, and it's important to keep in mind, you know, this is actually analyzing the contents of the image. It's not just, um, you know, picking out objects and then feeding it into the chat bot to try to make sense of them. So one thing that I love to use this for and I found it super powerful for is writing alt text. We all know that alt text is important for visually impaired users. If you're running a blog, it's important for searchability for images, but it's hard to write it well. So I'm going to upload this image. You can see I can just drag that in. I'm going to say write high quality alt text for this image. And uh, it's going to upload, takes a moment to do that. And then once that's uploaded, then GP, ChatGPT will process it. Um, it's a wall mounted dispensing system labeled Signet, with three containers holding different cleaning solutions from left to right. You can see the level of detail of what it's writing out here. And this isn't just like, you know, what most people, most bloggers would write if they even write anything for alt text, you know, they'd probably just write like a dispenser on the wall or something basic. This literally lays out exactly the colors, the words, the positioning, you know, left to right, the purpose, the fact that there's nozzles, numbers of items, all this kind of stuff. You can see not only this would be great from an SEO perspective, but it would be fantastic for a user who's using a screen reader and uh, needs to understand what's in that image. And that happened in about, what, about 15 seconds, 30 seconds. So pretty amazing ability to write alt text. Now let me show you another example that's a little bit more um, kind of personal in nature than, uh, than business related. I'm gonna upload, this is a picture of my spice rack. I'm gonna go ahead and upload a picture of the spice rack in my kitchen. Um, and I'm gonna say, uh, tell me which spices I have here. And um, let's give it a moment. It takes a second to upload. Imagine it's probably getting a lot of traffic. There's a spice rack. It's gonna go ahead through and it's gonna identify. You can see it's actually gonna list all the spices on the spice rack from this image. Interestingly, it actually gets the brand names on there as well. So it's not just giving me the generic uh, stuff. It's actually typing this all out. Uh, I'm gonna pause and let it finish. So there we go with the, uh, the full list. I'm gonna say, uh, based on what I have, uh, give me some recipes for something I can make for lunch. So it's gonna um, take what I asked it about and actually hopefully write me some recipes. And this kind of shows, this, you know, it's not just a, you give it an image and it gives you a response back, it actually is a conversation. You can talk about the image, you can ask follow-up questions, you can ask about specific parts of the image. And here it's gonna, you know, give me some recipes mentioning the specific things that I've got on my spice rack that I could use, like this McCormick Perfect Pinch Italian Seasoning. Um, it's gonna give me directions and things that I can follow to, uh, to actually make some dishes from the spices that I've got. Now let's show one final example here, um, super relevant to the SEOs out there. I'm gonna go ahead and upload a screenshot of a chart from my Google Search Console and say, <coughs> um, here is a screenshot of my Google Search Console, um, analyze my traffic. So it can actually not only look at photographs, but it can read graphs as well. So let's let it uh, go ahead through there, do some analysis and see what it uh, turns out. Okay, so here's what we got quite a detailed breakdown of a bunch of information about the channel, the, uh, the uh, website here. So we've got you know, number of clicks and things that are fairly obvious in the graphic, but then it starts to talk about trends, looking at that trend line, um, trends of clicks and impressions. The last data point indicates a sharp rise, which may be due to an event. That event happens to be the helpful content update, which just finished. Um, it correctly gets things like, you know, the time period based on the dates printed down at the bottom. And then it even gives some recommendations like, that my impressions have been increasing faster than my clicks. Maybe I ought to take a look at my titles and descriptions, um, and uh, you know some some stuff that's fairly generic too. But um, you know some stuff that's basically based exactly on what it's seen in the graph. So this is a fairly easy to understand graphic, but you can feed it all kinds of stuff like detailed maps and 
charts and infographics and it will um, explain them to you and write out you know pretty interesting stuff so I'm gonna keep experimenting with this um, if you're not on it already head over to nofrillsinfluencer.com join my newsletter um, I'm gonna share a bunch more use cases ways you can actually apply this in your own business I'll also include a link to the newsletter sign up it's free um, in the description down below so check it out get on the newsletter I'm gonna be playing with this a lot more and sharing a bunch more use cases for um, ChatGPT Vision. Already pretty powerful, pretty amazing new addition to ChatGPT.